Good day. I'm here with my sister. Hello, my name is Joe. And my name is Joe. All right, we're gonna do a, well, I'm gonna give her initial assessment, so just follow along and make it a lot easier. One thing you're gonna need is a scale. We have a Tanita scale here, which is upside down. Can you turn it over? Oh, oh it's right upside down. Oh, no, yeah. I was testing if she was listening. <laughs> and a tape measure, all right? So first thing we're gonna do is basically just step on the scale. But what you wanna do is, let's just pretend she's doing it right now. Um, do it first thing in the morning, obviously. So let's get down, put it down. Um, depending on what kind of scale you have, you have to enter a few things like your age. Uh, and I think that's it, right? Just your age. Yeah, so just your age. For this model, all you need is just the age. Um, and then you step on the scale, so just step on. A few things that you wanna take note here um, when you're writing it down is the weight. And a few other things you want to put down there because this actually measures your body fat percentage, how much muscle mass you have, and a few other options. So make sure you write it down. If you just have a weighing scale on its own, that's fine as well. All right, now we're going to do the tape measurement starting with the chest. So we're going to raise your hands up. Ask the client to put this on the nipple line. Especially if it's... Uh, okay. Make sure you stay on one side, right? And then hands down once you're ready, make sure they're obviously level on both sides, are they? Okay, and then you wanna take a little tight squeeze there so there's enough give. Make sure you ask the client to inhale and exhale. And try to get it at the exhale here. So give her a few seconds to do this until you find the pattern at the exhale. That's it. Next thing we're gonna do is the arm. So we'll just stay with the left side here just because so you can get a better angle. So what I typically want to do is relax, find the bony part of the shoulder, right? Make sure you measure it all the way down to the elbow. So bend your elbow 90 degrees. Okay, from there we find the midpoint, which is, uh, we have 13 here, so six and a half. We are on there. From there, we go around. Now relax your arm all the way down. So we don't measure when it's flexed, we measure when it's relaxed. Breathing doesn't matter here, so she is at an 11. That's it, right there. From there, we're gonna do the waist. So hands up, doing inches. So. Can you please put down your belly button? Okay, great. To the side. We're gonna go down, um, big inhale and exhale, obviously. And again, arms down, relax, relax. Yeah. yeah, there you go, don't worry about me. Do it a few times. Again, you wanna get this at the exhale. Make sure they're not sucking in the gut. All right, from there, easily move down to the hips. Feet together, please. Okay, and just find it. Ideally, you want to be on the side. Got that there. On the side, so here we have it right here. From zero to 33. So from the hips, we easily move down to the thigh. Ideally, you want to grab um, or put the tape measure at the end of her butt cheeks. So for me, it's super simple here. Make sure you wear the same clothing as well because some garment is thicker or thinner than others. So that will um, change the reading inaccurately. And from there, obviously the calves. So ideally, we can easily move this up. Grab that. Make sure it's even. So since it's a lot smaller than the thighs, we'll just find the biggest area of the calf. That's pretty much it. And there, that's it. Now, if you want to do both sides, you're more than welcome to, but I usually just do one side again, just because uh, there's no injuries, you're not imbalanced, so that's All right, fine. now you want to do the progress photos. Keep it as simple as possible, no distractions at the back. Basically, you just want to stand as far as you can against the wall, standing upright, and again, you don't want to be stiff or pretend like you're, you have perfect posture, so just really relax. So from there, you just take a picture, really, from the front, all right, and then the side, Again, relax so you can see the progress, not only the muscularity or, you know, fat burn, but also the posture, all right, from the side and then behind as well as much as possible. So here you could just be wearing underwear if you want, ask someone to take a photo for you so you see more changes, right, as opposed to wearing long sleeves, you won't see much. And then obviously the other side as well. That's it. Super simple. With the reading that she, we just took with her, make sure you get the weight, the body fat percentage, total body water, muscle mass, and depending on the model that you have, anything else that you can put. Because the more data you have, the more you can um, measure the change, the more you feel inspired, right? Yes. For them to do. Three exercises for the fitness test. Just so that we can see how you progress uh, within a month. And again, this is a really great way when you have more data, it keeps you inspired. Because if, at the first month, you might not see any changes, 
but when you see your strength gains and your fitness gains, that will inspire you to keep on going. First exercise is a simple squat. So body weight squats. Ideally, you want to do this for a minute long. So obviously before she starts, you time it. Make sure that every single rep is equal, right? Because if she does a full rep like so, but then she starts to stop right there and go up, she starts doing quarter squats, then that's when you stop it or you don't count it. It's easy, no reps, okay? So feet a bit uh, wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointing forward, that's pretty much it. So obviously you want to do more than what she's doing right now, but just for the sake of demoing, she's doing it slow. So how many reps you can do in one minute? That's it. Next exercise is a simple plank. We'll just go this way. Yep, right there. So that you can see, yep, quarter turn. Um, forearm planks. All right, so elbows right below the shoulders. Make sure this doesn't sag, right? Because when that starts to sag, you're not using your, um, your core anymore. Everything is tight here. Basically, this exercise, you want to see how long you can hold a plank for. All right, so that tests how strong your core is. Simple. Okay, and then the last exercise would be mm, push-ups. Ah! <laughs> Me! All right, so push-ups slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Um, we'll start with the full push-up just to show them, okay? So your hand should be a bit outside and below your shoulders and then you just do one rep for me, all the way down. Okay, that's it. Now for um, women, their, their upper body strength is not as strong, especially for beginners, so we'll do knee push-ups. And then drop down as low as you can. Make sure every single rep is as low as possible. So you can put a block, make sure that you touch the block every single rep or you can put your fist down there and every Time you touch the fist, that counts as a rep. Again, how many you can do in one minute? That's it. Hopefully that helped guys. Um, again, this is a great way to do your initial assessment and reassessment every single month. Good luck. Good luck.